Teresa, quítate eso, mija. You look like a prostitute. Teresa, you're not going out like that. Alistair sent me this dress to wear. I'm going to wear it. No, absolutely not. You're not leaving this house dressed like a hooker. I mean, it's bad enough that you're going out with Alistair Crane in the first place. Oh, my God, Teresa. I am begging you, don't do this. You're making a monumental mistake here. How can you even think of going out with him? Whatever he's promised you, honey, it's not worth it. Your father's right. Alistair never does anything unless he's getting something in return. And trust me, Teresa, he wants something from you. And I don't, I don't even want to think about what he probably wants. You know what? Don't worry about me, okay? I know what I'm doing. I don't think you do. Now, you know he's capable of the worst evil that you could possibly imagine. Teresa. Por favor, don't. Don't go. Don't put yourself in this kind of danger. Think of your children. Think of little Ethan and Jane. That's all I think about, Mama. My daughter and my son being a family with them and Ethan. So you're not going to change my mind. I'm going to do what I have to do to get Jane and Ethan back. Bueno, at least try to cover yourself up then. And remember to behave like a lady in front of the, in front of that pig. Be the good mother that you claim you want to be, Teresa. I'm not going to sleep with him, Mama. It's just dinner. Oh, well, not in that dress it isn't now, is it, sweetheart? Alistair doesn't want just dinner, Teresa. I can handle Alistair. Everyone in our family has always been at the mercy of the Cranes, and I am tired of it. I'm not going to be like Luis and Sheridan or you and Papa. Letting Alistair dictate how we live our lives. I'm going to take control of my life. And ironically, Alistair's the one who's going to help me do it. Teresa, ya, stop with the makeup. You're painting your face like a common streetwalker to be with Alistair Crane. Mama, let it go. All right? No matter what you say, I am going to go through with this. Your mother's just trying to protect you to keep you from doing something so incredibly stupid. You don't have a say in this. Because of you, my mom had to wait on the crane's hand and foot. Don't start that again. It's the truth, Mama. You didn't have a choice. Why? Because you were abandoned. Because you were left all alone to raise five children. But I have a choice. And I choose to not settle for the crumbs that they want to give me. I am going to use Alistair, and I'm going to use him to get my daughter back. No se estupida. Nobody uses Alistair Crane. He'll use you, Teresa, and then he'll throw you away. Listen, sweetheart, you just hear me out. Now, I know that you're bitter and angry that I had to leave you and your mother. You didn't I have did... to leave, Papa. You wanted to so that you could be with Alistair's wife, Catherine. No, that's not true. Now, the reasons were complicated. Please, and that... It... Teresa, it's also beside the point here. Your father and I are trying to rebuild this family. And we both agree that you, going out with Alistair, thinking that you can use him, is a huge mistake. How? How in God's name do you think that Alistair can help you get Ethan and Jane back? I just know that he can. I just know he can. Look, Gwen and Rebecca, they are terrified of him. So if I can show them that I'm on Alistair's side, maybe they'll show their hand, and Ethan will finally realize that they were the ones who sent the information to the tabloid. Your mother said the email revealing Ethan's true paternity was sent from your computer, but she says you swear that you didn't send it. I didn't send it. Rebecca and Gwen did. They knew if Ethan thought that I had done something so horrible, like turn his entire life upside down, he would leave me. And that's exactly what he did. Oh, no, Teresa, those two women are very clever. They've covered all their tracks, I'm sure. Right. And that's why I need Alistair's help. Because I need to shake things up a little bit. Shake them up enough to slip so then I can prove to Ethan that they were the ones who sent the information. Ethan will leave Gwen and he'll come back to me. Oh, my God. How can you be so naive? No one uses Alistair. No, no, he's a snake. A venomous snake. And you have to remember that you cannot turn your back on him for even a second. I don't trust that man, Teresa. I don't. I don't trust him. But I do need to get close enough to find out how I can use him. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can say to stop me. 
You know, Teresa, there's still time. Come on, just call off this date with Alistair. Por favor, Teresa, no lo hagas. This is beyond dangerous. I'm doing this for my daughter. Surely you understand that. No, I don't understand. And neither do I. Well, I'm sorry. Because somehow I will convince Alistair to get Jane and Ethan back for me. Good evening, Teresa. Hello. Just wanted to thank you for the um, flowers. They're beautiful. And uh, the dress. Oh, you're welcome. You look absolutely gorgeous. I knew red would be your color. <laughs> I love red. Shall we? Over my dead body. 